Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Today we're going to do another potato project. We are going to make potato starch. Now why, you may ask, would we want to make potato starch? Well, I have several family members that are um, gluten intolerant. And they make a lot of their own gluten-free uh, products. And one of the common ingredients is potato starch. And the reason they use potato starch is because corn starch is not necessarily any longer a viable option. Um, reason being that most corn nowadays, especially in commercial grade corn starch, is you trying to help Angus? Is uh, made from GMO corn because almost all corn is now GMO. Unless you buy organic corn starch, which can get pretty expensive. Alright, so when I get enough potatoes peeled. Now you can do this with one potato, you can do this with ten. But I'm going to peel several also because, well, my piggies like potatoes. I'm telling you guys, I am not having a good time right now. Um, anyway, we'll be back when I fix this. And I have about six potatoes peeled. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to grate our potatoes. Now you can hand grate them because you only need a couple. But if you're going to go through the trouble of extracting the starch from potatoes, do a fairly size, fairly good size batch, but at this point, I'm just doing six potatoes because I'm going to use the grated part for hash browns for supper tonight. All right, let's get rid of our water here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this nice big glass measuring cup or Pyrex measuring cup. And we're going to start getting our grated potato in here. You can already see this milky substance on the side of this. You want to scrape all of that out as best you can because that is the starch. So you don't want to miss any of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some warm water, not hot, you don't want to cook the potato. Some warm water. I'm just going to swish this around. And we're going to dump that right over our grated potato. And then we're going to, we're going to pour just enough warm water to pretty much cover our potatoes and we are going to stir. I thought this would be some huge chemical process folks but it is so super easy if you want potato starch. Alright so if you can see, I don't know how well you can see this but this water has gone milky already so what we're going to do is we're going to get something to strain it into. Let's just take our length of cheesecloth here and I'm going to fold it in half over the, and then I'm going to just drape it over the colander and I'm just going to pour this in. Just like that. Look at all that milky stuff in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take up our cheesecloth like this. And we're just going to squeeze. And we're just going to pop this back into our Pyrex bowl. 
and we're going to do this. We're just going to repeat the process. Now, you don't have to repeat the process, but I'm going to repeat the process because I want to get as much starch out of this as possible. One last. Squeeze. And that water is running fairly clean now. Now what we're going to do, set this aside for a second, is we're going to dump this into a bowl. This will in the garbage. And I'm just going to cover this with some cold water and a little shot of lemon juice and put it in the fridge until I need it later for supper. Lemon juice is just to stop them from going black. If you were going to dehydrate these, you would still rinse them with, and I may dehydrate these anyway, but you would still rinse them with lemon water so that um, they don't blacken when they're drying. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our potato water and we're going to pour it through this wire sieve just in case any stray bits have fallen in. Now this water looks kind of brownish and I'm not sure why. But look at the bottom there folks. Look at that, that stuff on the bottom, which has settled, look at this. This is potato starch. Alrighty, now we have our dehydrator tray with a fruit roll-up tray on it. And we're just going to, look at this, isn't this wonderful? We're just going to take this potato starch and scrape it onto our fruit roll-up tray. Now we're just going to put on our dehydrator and we're going to set it on low like 105 degrees to between 105 and 150. We'll be back when this is dry. Well folks, let's have a look. Look at this. Wow, and look, you hit that with a, a, a coffee grinder or something and you will have your answer to cornstarch. Now that's quite a bit of uh, starch from five potatoes. There you have it folks. What's that? Two and a half ounces? Three ounces of potato starch? This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying potato starch. A little hard to make but it's not rocket science. <laughs>